how did you get into trading? What was your like your actual motivation to get into? So it was after year eleven GCSEs, and obviously I was sixteen at the time, and I was going through my Instagram, yeah. and on Instagram, I'm obviously going to come across ads. I came across this one ad, and it was this woman. She was showing off her, her cars, her cash, you know, her flashy lifestyle. And obviously, as a 16-year-old, I was trying to live up that life. So then I asked her, what do you do? Then she was like, oh, I do trading. So then I'm like, do you teach how to trade? She's like, yeah. Then I asked her, how much, how much do you teach for? She's like, 250. And obviously, at the time, I didn't have a lot of money. I had 160 pounds saved up, but that wasn't enough for the course. So I'm like, is it possible I can learn how to trade for free, like on the internet? Because I know everything's on Google. Like what can't you find on Google and YouTube? She's like, nah, if you really want to make it in trading, you need to get a course. So I'm like, nah, this woman just wants me to buy a course so that she can make money. So then obviously after that, I started watching some videos on YouTube. Spent like a whole week watching trading videos, you know, watching different strategies, knowing how to actually read the markets. So then after the week, I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm like, I can make profit in this. So then I told my dad, told my family about it. And my dad was like, don't do it. You know, you could lose money. It's like, it's like gambling. Then my brother was like, oh, I've tried it before and I lost money. He was like, no, it's a scam. These people are just trying to take your money. Then I was like, it can't be a scam because people do foreign exchange anyways. Because when you go into another country, you know, you've got Great British pounds, you can change into euros. Just that they weren't too educated in Forex. So obviously they were just trying to be protective. Not that they didn't want me to win, but they just didn't want me to lose money. So then they said that, but I didn't really take nothing of it. I just knew, yeah, okay, I can make money from this. So then obviously I had 160 pounds. So my dad helped me open a trading account. Even though he said it's a scam, he still helped me open a trading account. So I put in 160 pounds. I've saved it up for a good two months. This was about two months in. So I, put, I deposited that money inside my trading account and I blew it within the first day. So I remember I put in 160, 150 pounds, 10 pounds, I put on credit so that I have data. So that when I'm outside, I can check my trades. Yeah, so my first trade, because at the start I joined, you know, Telegram group chats. Because there's a lot of free Telegram group chats, so I joined like multiple group chats and they were all sending signals. And they were saying, oh, buy the pound. And I was saying, sell the group chat pound. I'm just following all of them. So the first day I was actually able to make 70 pounds. So I made 70 pounds and I didn't make any like um, risk management plan. I was just trading with no plan. And you shouldn't do that. You should always have a plan if you're looking to trade. So I made 70 pounds. Then during, the, this was like on a Monday. It was a Monday afternoon that I made 70 pounds. So then I came back to the market and I wanted more because obviously I've never made that kind of money. I was making money from my, my smartphone. So then I went back into the market. I was following the signals, you know, placing my own trades. Then the next day I wake up and everything is on red. Like it's a something called margin call your account. Basically everything's about to close. So I was on minus like um, 90 pounds and the trade just kept going opposite direction, opposite direction. And then I ended up blowing their account. Remember the trade closed for about a hundred pound loss and I had 60 pounds left. With the 60 pounds, I tried to flip it. So I was going all out aggression, then ended up blowing that as well. So then after that, I had no money left. And that was my 160 pounds gone. I didn't tell my dad, I didn't tell no one. I told a few close friends, but that was it. Cause obviously if I was to go and tell my dad, tell my brother and everyone, I'd be like, oh, I told you so, I told you you shouldn't have done that. So then obviously, after that, I had no money. I, I almost cried that day. So then I'm like, nah, I need to find a way to start earning money. So my friend's dad actually owned, he, he owned a piece of Gogo. So he was like, he can give me a job at Pizza Gogo to give out leaflets. So I got that. Every 500 leaflets, I would get 20 pounds. I worked there for about two months and I worked for like a good two weeks. You know, gather up about 100 pounds. 100 pounds is what I would deposit into each account every time. So I got covered up about 120 pounds. I deposited into my trading account and I blew it. So for a whole two months, I will earn money, put it back into my trading account, and I'll keep on blowing it. I blew about over 10 accounts. So then, but with each time I would blow an account, I would always learn a lesson. You know, the biggest reason why I kept on losing was because of my greed. And I wanted to make money quick. But people need to know, trading is not a get rich quick scheme. You're gonna have to take the losses. I don't know any good trader that's out there that hasn't made, hasn't blew accounts in the, you know, the first three accounts. So obviously he came into my 10th account, 11th account, and I'm like, I keep doing accounts, there's something going on. So I realized my greed. So then my, a friend referred me to an audio book to deal with my psychology so that I can you know, have stronger emotions. So I listened to that, it was an eight hour audio book. I listened to it twice. After I listened to that, so I traded on a demo account. Demo account is virtual money, so you can't actually, like it's fake money. So I traded on that, 
for a good three weeks. Um, I turned three thousand pounds into thirty thousand pounds. I'm like, yeah, I found my strategy. I know how to trade now. And let me deposit this money again for the tenth time. So I put that money in, hundred fifty pounds. Then, with the space in the space of eight months, that grew to sixty-one thousand pounds. So I had a I had a plan. I just kept on following it, kept on following it. Sometimes I would risk a bit more than I should should be risking, but my strategy was very good. Like I was winning about eighty percent of the time. So then it grew to sixty-one thousand pounds. And by that time, I was on Instagram as well. I was giving out signals to clients, so obviously, people were seeing you know my skill. So then a reporter messaged me on Instagram saying, "Oh, you know, um, we would like to have you on the Daily Mail. Could I know a bit more about your story?" So I got on a phone call with him, told him, "Yeah, I started trading when I was sixteen. Blah blah blah. blah. I gave him the story. He's like, yeah, that sounds like a good story. You know, could we speak to your dad because we want to publish this on the Daily Mail and around the UK?" So I got on the phone to my dad. And by the way, throughout the whole eight months, my dad, no one knew I was making money from trading until that moment. So then when I told him, like, what? Like, you're making that amount of money? Like, where's the money? Like, they were excited. Because obviously, they didn't believe it was going to work. And obviously, I stayed quiet throughout the whole eight months. I just kept on stacking the money, kept on stacking money. But then I had, in that moment, I had to tell them, like, look, this is what I'm doing. So obviously, the, my dad, they gave my phone to my dad. And, and the reporter was saying, yeah, you know, we like your son's skills. We like to publish him around the UK. I was like, yeah, 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 fully support it. You should, you should go for it, you should go for it. But then, you know, I ended the call, and my dad's like, this is what you're really doing. Like, you're making money from this. Then I started telling my brother, told my whole family. Because obviously, before, before giving out leaflets, the way I was making money, because I was trying to make money beforehand, but the way I was making money wasn't really the best way of making money. And I wasn't making money the right way. So then, my dad didn't believe that the money was legit. So then I showed him my sharing account, I showed him everything. Because I did withdraw like some chunks of the money into my my bank account, so I showed my dad. It's like, wow, like, I can't believe it. So then my family was gassed. Then um, this was in this was like before April. So it came out on the twenty sixth of April. Then obviously after that, I published it on my in my Instagram. So I took a screenshot of the metro, um, published on my Instagram. Then after that, my Instagram just blew off. Like everyone was following me. Like I had about I think it was three thousand followers. Then as soon as the newspaper came out, that same day I got an extra two thousand followers. When she had two thousand followers, people were making YouTube videos on me. They were doing a lot of stuff. From there, my reputation just kept on going up and up and up and up. And yeah, man, now I'm here. I'm verified. One of the there's just three verified traders on Instagram, and I'm one of them. So yeah, just being bullish from there. How did you feel to be verified? <sighs> See, the day I got told. So I think I was eating or something. I don't remember, but or something like that. Then one, one of my fans said, you're verified, bro. I'm like, well, what do you mean I'm verified? So then obviously I'm like, I liked the message. Then I went on my account to see if the Bluetooth is actually there. I'm like, what? I'm verified. Because obviously Instagram, you know, during like last year, around December times, they kept on removing my account. There was a lot of fake accounts, you know, a lot of fake trading, trading with Ed's accounts. And they were scamming people. So people thought I was a scam. So I would report these pages, and every time I report the page, Instagram will actually shut down my page because they thought I was a fake trading with ads when I'm the real guy. So then I went to the, I kept on going to the um, Instagram HQ because obviously, um, cause I, so I went to the Instagram HQ. I'm like to them, like keep taking down my account, it's a big problem. They took down my account a good, like about two times. So I kept on going there, kept on going there. This was around December times. So then. They came to my last time, the last time that they took my account, which was around December times. So it took about a good month until they, they gave me my account back. So after that, you know, um, that, this was in January where I got my account back, around them times. So then I've been verified for about three weeks now. So then the guy said, oh, you're verified. So then I checked, checked my account and had a blue tick on it. So I'm, they were, I was like, what? Like, I'm, I'm verified because People that get verified are usually celebrities and, you know, in that category. So I'm like, damn, like, I'm a part of that category now. I'm a public figure on Instagram. Alright, cool. So how did you feel when you blew your account? Like, what made you kind of carry on? How did I feel? It was devastating. Like, I was like, damn, I lost everything. What do I do now? I was just head loss. The reason why I carried on is because I knew if, if people, if other people can make money from this, then why can't I make money? So that just motivated me because I saw a lot of people that were living good off of trading so I'm like if they can live good why can't Ed's live good from trading if I take enough L's you know the win's gonna come what's your thoughts on like 
um, marketing, like trading marketing companies, like companies that are marketing trading. To like Yeah. Um. Take all the breeze, I got big packs. Shoot through the V, make them sit back.